How's it going everybody? Welcome into the shop. It's great to have y'all here. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, this is a shop update. So I'm going to be going over some things that are going on in the shop and this happens to be a very exciting video. I have a very big announcement. So if you remember and if you've been around with me for a while, I restored a 36 inch Oliver bandsaw uh, from built in 1925 and then also built restored an Oliver mortiser which was made in 1957, these old vintage machines. Oliver is a machinery company that's been around since the late 1800s. I don't know the specific date, but they've been around for a while. They still exist today. I have one of their modern day lays, which I got last year. Now, I am very, very excited to announce that I have partnered up with Oliver. They are gonna be sending machines and I'm gonna be putting blue Oliver machines in this shop. I cannot wait, I'm so excited. And today, we get to pick up two of those machines and I'm pretty pumped because these are machines that I actually really needed pretty bad. So in the video, you get to see those machines here real soon. I'm not gonna show you too much because we're gonna do a full video on the machines themselves, but you will get to see them. I have a dining room table I just finished. Beautiful walnut table, I wanna show you that. I did not film that build, I filmed a section of it, uh, but I wanna show you the table. I think it's a cool table, I think you might wanna see it. Also, I wanna tell you a little bit about the next project which I will be filming. Pretty cool project. Before we go pick up the machinery, which should be showing up this afternoon, I wanna take you guys down a quick trip Take you down a quick trip. Take you down. I, I want to take a quick trip down memory lane to show you guys where all this started about nine years ago. Okay, that was cute. I love that photo of June and I standing at the door of my shop. That's Keeper, that's one of my favorites. She was just a little baby then. Now she's big, she's in school. It's crazy how quick time flies. Pretty awesome to see where it all started, where it's all come from and where it's gonna go. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Let's go pick up these machines. Here's what's gonna have to happen. This has got to get squared up. I can't be. I'm thinking I can just angle her in, but man, it lines up perfect. It's actually a little bit higher. All right, that's looking a lot better. I think that's gonna make things a little bit easier. Next step is moving that. <laughs> Okay, so I've got a couple of buddies lined up to help me unload that, thankfully. Actually, three or four guys. Um, so I thought, you know, while I wait on this, this is a great opportunity for me just to give, uh, 
tell you guys a heartfelt thank you, uh, a level of gratitude I have. Um, I just feel so thankful that you guys have supported my channel, especially those who have been with me from the beginning um, and have just stayed with it, even though I've changed and shifted content a little bit and done different things. Uh, a lot of people have stuck with me, and it just means a lot. It really does. I never, ever, ever dreamed of being a YouTuber. Uh, it just kind of all came together and happened. I've really enjoyed the interaction between y'all and me. I, you know, I try to answer emails the best I can. I'm not always getting all of them, and I try to get back to comments the best I can. Um, I've had a few of you who have visited the shop. It's been great to get to know you, and it's just an interesting journey I've been on, and I'm grateful for it. I'm thankful, and I want to stay humble, and I want to um, stay true to the woodworking and the craft, and that's something I'm always trying to keep in the front of my brain um, to not get overwhelmed by this world of YouTube and all the carrots that get dangled in front of you and all that stuff. So all that being said, I just want to say thanks. I'm thankful for you guys. Y'all are awesome. I appreciate it. I never dreamed I'd see the day where I'd have a tool company like Oliver Machinery putting their machines in my shop. I remember when I was in my 20s, I would watch the I would watch Wood Whisper videos, follow his blog, and he had Powermatic all in his shop. I just thought, man, that's incredible. You know, he has a tool sponsor that will never be me. And here it is. It's crazy. I, it actually happened. So I'm so grateful that it's Oliver Machinery. I, it's such a great company. They, you know, they have a rich heritage. I have several of their old machines, and their new machines are high-quality, good machines in comparison to whatever else is on the market. They are really good. And the company, the people are great. I've gotten a chance to know them over the last month or two, and I pursued it. I wanted a long-term relationship like this, something with a little bit more substance and purpose, um, and I, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Hopefully, it's going to last years, and... Um, I'm hoping to share the Oliver brand with you guys and show you just how good it is. So that's just me, kind of rambling, sorry. Uh, just want to say thanks, appreciate everything y'all do, all the support you give me. I hope to keep bringing you some solid content uh, over the years. Okay, check this out. This is my favorite. This is so cool. I just figured this out. I was like, how do you stop this thing? I don't want to use the emergency. Power it on. Run it beautifully. Turn it off. It's got a foot pedal. That's awesome. How cool is that? I love that. I love that feature. Okay, I don't want to show you too much because um, there's going to be a dedicated video on this. Uh, so we do have some setup work to do, but let's not do all that right now. It starts, it runs. I can actually start building furniture now. I do have to get this hooked up, but we're not gonna, I'll, I think I can manage that. Just got this lumber in today, actually. Uh, some beautiful longleaf pine coming out of a beam. Uh, these are, are the tabletop boards. Those are exactly, hold on. 15 and 5 eighths. That's a 16 inch joiner. So we're gonna put it to the test right away. Next week, I'm gonna be on this project. Next project, longleaf pine, it's gonna be Kitchen Island with dovetail drawers, uh, really pretty piece. Can't wait to get it. I'm going to be filming the entire build. It's going to be a uh, one video series uh, going through the whole process of how I make that. So that'll be, that's a few weeks away. I got to have that done by the end of this month, September the 9th, I think right now. So that video will be coming out into the month, 1st of October. Dedicated video on these. I'm going to give it two, yeah, three or four weeks. Uh, use the machines, figure them all out. 
and then I'm gonna tell you all about them. So look forward to that. All right, so as promised, I've got this dining room table that I uh, recently finished up and I wanna kinda walk you through it, show you some of the details of it. Uh, it's basically two benches, it's an eight foot table by 42 inches in width. Um, it's made out of walnuts. It's got a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven board top with breadboard ends. And like I mentioned, there's a full build video going up very soon on these breadboard ends on how I made them because I think it's a really cool process. You see these on a lot of tabletops from big box stores and they are totally non-functional and done incorrectly. You see a lot of people do them incorrectly. It's a traditional joint. It's designed to allow the tabletop to float and move and capture it on the ends uh, and able to helps keep it flat basically. So if you have like a trestle table, which is this style of base where you don't have a lot of support, the breadboard ends come in really handy. For this, I function-wise didn't really need them, but I only had eight foot boards that came from the supplier. So I had to grade my ends back, take cracks out. And by the time I had done that, I needed to gain the, the link back because I was too short. So I, I opted to use the breadboard ends. Plus I think they really wanted that. They liked that style. Um, so that's why we have breadboard ends on this. The legs uh, are turning. I, I uh, set up and designed myself, um, and I think that's pretty cool. I We did it in a way that the bottom detail kind of matches the bench legs, uh, which I think is a cool feature. And even the top, it's a little bit different, but you kind of have uh, this same cove setting uh, on the bench leg as you do to the table. The finish on this is a conversion varnish flat sheen. It's the first time I've ever done a flat sheen, and I really like the look of it. It's not, not it doesn't have the high shine to it. Um, I usually do a satin, but this is a full flat, so it looks really, really spectacular. I think it looks really nice. It really shows off this walnut. So, like I mentioned, you'll get to see. I kind of highlighted the breadboard ends. You'll get to see a full video on that, explaining that process and showing how that goes down. The entire build itself, I did not film. Um, this is just one of those projects that didn't go on YouTube. Uh, that happens quite often, so that's why, I, actually, one of the reasons why I started filming these videos was so that um, you could see uh, some of the work that doesn't make it on the channel. So you get to see it finished, you don't get to see it made, how it's made, uh, but at least you're getting to see it. So, this is getting, I've got to load it up and deliver it tomorrow to Fredericksburg, Texas, and then we're on to the next project. Okay, so that winds it down for this update. Thanks for tuning in, guys. You guys got to get a little sneak peek at the machine. We're going to do an in-depth video on that, which I'm really excited about. I'm going to use it for a little while, get familiar with it, understand it. The next video, uh, I've already gone over this, but the next video is the island. We'll be using the new machines for that. So um, you get to kind of see them in that video. Be on the lookout for the breadboard in video coming soon. And a lot of work's happening in the Argosy. Um, I should just take you over there and show it to you real quick. Let's go check it out. Okay. It's a wreck in here, and I will, I will tell you, it's not looking too hot. Wires are kind of collapsing. Not looking too good. But I got the lower walls on, which I'm excited about. Um, I got to do these walls. Once I start getting these walls on, everything will get captured. I did run into a few small leaks, um, which I have now flux taped uh, into place. This is a sealant tape I found at the old big box store took care of that um, and there's one on the leak this thing I don't know how people stop these things from leaking I, it's got to be impossible but the Vista window now has um, a steady flow actually coming out of here uh, this is insulation you can see is still still dripping some water <laughs> I'm not gonna lie it's stressing me out a little bit but we'll figure it out so that's a look at the Airstream it's a mess. Going to be jumping on this real soon and getting it all tidied up, getting walls on. Let's get out of here. I'm going to be getting it all. So I'm going to be getting it all tidied up real soon, getting the walls on. Next week, I'm actually going to probably put a couple days into finishing out the walls, starting to put the flooring in, the back bed, and painting. I got to get out of here because it does a little stress me out a little bit. It's a little bit messy in there. Okay, so... You got to see the airstream. I got to say, it's pretty bad. Uh, it's stressing me out. I've already told you that, but it's it's uh, it's in a weird phase right now where I'm just kind of I'm tired of finding little bitty leaks in it. Every time I think I got them all, more show up. So I don't think I'll ever have all the leaks dialed in, and I think I'm just gonna have to live with that. Also, if you want to help support the channel, I've got merchandise over at Bunkum Branding, so that is linked in the description. Go get yourself a T-shirt. Also, I forgot I got some new. 
it's not really new. Well, it is new, but it's a little uh, wooden magnet. It has my hammer chisel logo on it. This thing's pretty cool. If you want one of those, Bunker Branding as well. Let's really shut it down now. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.